Hello, how are you all? I'd like to talk about the energy of angels. So angels are all around us. We all have our own personal angels, what we call guardian angels. And there are angels that you can call upon at any time. Angels are very safe, loving, and a beautiful, vibrant, uh, <clears throat> gorgeous energy. They are uplifting, they are comforting, they are filled with the highest of pure intention and vibration and love. They're highly supportive and caring and they act as God's little messenger. <laughs> Call upon them and ask them for help and assistance in times um, of trouble, when you are going through difficulties, but at any time, even if your life is going great, chat with the angels. So um, I'm in a habit of chatting to the angels all the time and often um, one hint that or clue that I can give you is um, a tip shall I say is to uh, talk to your angels and your guides if you like to um, while you're doing things like vacuum cleaning, cleaning the house, that's what I do or going for a walk. That way um, it's quite meditative and you're killing two birds with one stone, so to speak. Um, but you're just releasing anything that you need to um, release from you, like questions, you have burdens, problems, issues, concerns, just release it all out to the angels. Uh, tell them, you know, also things that are, um, and it depends each time that you do it, but you might like to share two positive things. Um, and um, they're there to help you and to listen to you and to offer you comfort and support. Sometimes we don't feel that straight away. We might um, we might feel, especially if we're going through a bit of a rough patch, or we might feel like no matter how much you're praying or talking or asking or begging, you feel like nothing's happening. Um, but that's just because of what you're going through in the dense, dense, thick energy of the oppression that you're under as you're going through a difficult time. and. Any uh, spiritual being ha can have a hard time piercing through those veils, but often uh, it's also not overnight always or not instant. Sometimes it is. Sometimes we can instantly feel um, the energy of the angels. You might get goosebumps. Uh, you might also um, just have a sense of a feeling or a thought uh, or an image cross your mind or just feeling like something just brushed against you or something like that. Um, or it, or not long after you might see a sign or something like that um, or just feel like a solution is coming and they come in mysterious ways so you might get um, answers to problems or questions um, through other people or through something you might see on TV or something you might read and it's often very subtle it's a subtle language um, of the angelic realm just like um, sometimes it can be subtle when you get other messages from spirit um, but they're here to guide and support us so don't ever forget it anytime that you're going through a bit of a blue just call upon your angels and ask them to turn and shift things around and at some point whether it's um, seconds minutes hours days or a few weeks ahead, there'll be some kind of shift and uh, something will happen and they'll offer their assistance in that way. Um, I've got so many angel stories to share with you over time, so I know for sure angels are a thing because of my personal experiences um, and I encourage you to talk to your angels. So how can you communicate with angels? So if in doubt, very simple steps um, that you can do are, uh, for example, have an angel statue. Um, I love angel statues. I've got lots of um, angel statues. I'd love to have a really big one. Um, and I've just I've just enjoyed them even since I was younger. There's just something about them. But having little things like that can bring in the energy of the angels. And just by your pure intention and just asking angels please be around me one more thing about angels i mean you can feel through you can feel uh, the presence of them so even just here now so as i do my work i always call upon the angels to assist and to um, offer their healing and guidance and they are here for us as unconditional loving beings of light they are beautiful to work with and their energy is just gorgeous and they offer very cute and um, loving messengers as well and I know that people who have experienced this um, have uh, are familiar with that really soft loving uh, feeling that angels offer. So how do I ask my angels for help and guidance? So one thing you can do is just if you have a question in your mind so let's just take some deep breaths. Okay and just relax keep breathing in and out. 
again, let's do so three times. Just feel yourself fully relax. And as you do, just be very, very aware of your own energy and the energy around you and let go of any worrying thoughts. Let them dissipate and drop out and just um, leave your body. If you have worries and concerns, just ask the angels to take them away. And we're going to ask the angels to be around us. Thank you, angels, for offering your supportive, loving energy and for issuing healing for all in need. Okay, and just allow yourself to receive. So um, I often tell clients um, that you can see and sense energy on me. So just now with the encompassing feeling of angels it's just this beautiful feeling that I can't help to smile. Okay. I just asked in my mind if there was a message from the angels. <clears throat> Be sure to love yourself. So just to let that sit with you. Take good care of yourself. And do what's right for you. Not other people, but for you. So allow the angels to be all around you and just have that feeling that they're all around your body like around our aura around your body and they're offering this cushiony soft cute uplifting beautiful little bubbly vibration and it's very nurturing and gentle and soft okay now if you have a question in your mind just ask whatever questions have a little chat to your angels ask some questions And then be willing to receive answers through any thoughts or feelings that you might receive, any little nudges, memories, anything that might pop in your mind. You might see an image. Some people see little flashes and things like that or have a little feeling of shivers. Just whatever it is for you. And if you're not feeling anything, just be gentle on yourself. Don't worry, you're just getting started, so give it time. So you might like to pause this video and spend longer just feeling calm and meditative and uh, be in a receptive and open space to receive healing insight messages and guidance and you might not um, receive that immediately it might come later as I said earlier in the video so just allow things to be let go and know that your angels are around and they'll do what they can behind the scenes without interfering too much with um, your free will and um, you know because you have to make your own choices in life they'll do whatever they can to support you and show you signs so let's ask an alpha angels to show a sign let's ask for the sign in the form of a white feather Angels, please show me a sign in the form of a white feather in the next 24 hours. Amen. And so now you've sent out that message to the angels and just be open in the next day or so. <clears throat> and sometimes it takes longer than a day, so don't limit yourself. Don't uh, limit yourself to time and, uh, you know, get all sad and depressed if you don't find your feather. Don't worry about it. Just and also just be open to what you might see. So we're not straining ourselves. We're not trying to see where is the white feather? Where is it? Is it somewhere in here now? It's just just remember that you've asked for a sign. Let it go and allow it to be. And it might be a little white baby white feather. It might be a real one. Might be fake. It might be something you see um, on TV or in a picture uh, or hanging on a um, on a dream catcher or something like that so or on a, someone's dress printed on just be really open to how that that image might be received for you it could be something so um so uh, subtle or different even than what you expect such as you're looking at your bone scan and something looks like a white feather and then you just get a feeling and when you get that little feeling and sensation there's your sign and then thank you angels thank you for listening to us thank you for our signs thank you for being around us amen so I'm just going to leave you now with this little image of a little angel that I have hung outside the tree, outside my bedroom window. 
and it's just it has a reflective surface so it allows the light to reflect and it just um, gently blows around in the breeze and I often just sit um, in my bedroom and I look out at my little angel and it always helps me feel uplifted and um, and it's a reminder of spirit and the light and, and that there's the angels are always around us and it um, shines beautiful um, light into my room so just want to show a little segment on that the first part you'll see um, the angel hanging in the tree and then you'll see how it reflects in my room Thank you so much for watching and I really enjoy to hear your angel stories and experiences. Let me know how you go with um, the meditation and the asking of questions and signs and how you might experience angels or if you're not sure if something's a sign. So let me know um, here on this YouTube channel uh, through commenting or write to me on my Facebook page, A Public Post.